Hi, I'm Paul Yarrow at Point Blank Online. I currently work as a producer and songwriter for Books Music. I'm the creator of the Control Skin for Logic Pro, and I run a website, logiccafe.com, for Logic Pro users. If you enjoy this tutorial, there's plenty more content like this at pointblankonline.net. You're watching Logic Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll be taking a look at creating custom controller in Logic Pro's environment, which will act as a wobble control unit for the ES2 synth. The technique used in this tutorial can be used to create a filter LFO controller for any of Logic's virtual synths or third-party plug-in synths. You will learn useful functions in Logic's environment which include the use of monitors, transformers and bang faders to create your controller. In part 1 we'll be taking a look at setting up the ES2 as a synth which can be used for the wobble sound and in part 2 we'll make the controller. So what we aim to do is to take the LFO sync increment settings on the ES2 synth and create a series of trigger pads to select the various increments on demand as you just saw in the demonstration. The first step is to make sure you have an instance of the ES2 loaded into an instrument track. We now need to instruct the LFO to control the filter cutoff frequency. The middle section of the ES2 is an extremely versatile patch bay, allowing you to control many of the various oscillator and filter values of the ES2, with the sound bending envelopes, external controllers, or as in this case, the LFO. What we're going to do here is instruct the desired target, which is the filter cut 1 and 2, to be controlled by LFO2. We're selecting LFO2 in this instance, as it can be controlled in beat division increments, which I'll demonstrate in a minute. So to carry out this operation is straightforward enough, Simply click on where it says target and select cut 1 and 2 and then in source select LFO2. Now if I play the keys you can hear that the source which is now LFO2 is controlling the filter cutoff frequencies. If we take a look at LFO section, you can see that there are a couple of options that we could control using faders and buttons within the environment. The first option is this vertical list of waveform shapes with buttons running down the side. This option selects the shape of the waveform controlling the LFO. You can hear the difference when a note is played and when the waveform is changed. The second option is the vertical fader on the right hand side of the LFO2 controls. This fader enables you to select the rate at which the LFO2 affects your sound. You can see that if you are moving the fader, the increment of change is indicated in this small display. The bottom half of the controls indicate beat synced oscillation for the waveform. The top half of the vertical fader is by frequency increment. It is these increments we shall be controlling with our environment controller. <laughs> Next week in part 2 of this tutorial, we'll be creating an environment layer which controls these parameters using buttons and bang faders.
Point Blank Online, you've got two methods of interaction with your tutor. Firstly, you've got the weekly online masterclass, which is in real time. And then also we've got feedback on your assignments, and that's known as DVR. So the online masterclass is a one hour session you get with your tutor every week. You can ask questions about lesson content and get instant feedback and also demonstrations on the fly from their computer desktop with our streaming technology. DVR stands for Direct Video Response and the concept is really simple. You upload your Ableton Logic or Cubase project file to your tutor, he downloads it and then pushes record on the screen capturing software and evaluates your work, so basically giving you one-to-one -one feedback. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. We have found the DVR process has truly revolutionized the way that we teach online and the results speak for themselves. Book your place on the course now by visiting pointblankonline.net.